What's up everybody, it's Boy Meme here. Uh, for breakfast, I didn't really have anything. Uh, for lunch, we went to Five Guys uh, and had a burger and fries and um, uh, what? A uh, milkshake, and that was pretty good. Honestly, I don't know. I don't really like, I don't think I like milkshakes. Um, you know, whenever I've had a choice, I've gotten a milkshake at a place. Um, but I, I've learned that I've never really liked them. Um, my, my yearbook is currently on my desk. I'm gonna move it so then I don't accidentally off my school um but yeah i just i've never really liked your book uh milkshakes um i like the ones at mcdonald's those are pretty good and i feel like you could just drink them and then not feel anything uh, which is you know the best part you know you get to taste the ice cream and then you don't feel like you've just like ate like a rock afterwards um but i don't know the 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 milkshake at five guys was like it was good like it was it tasted better than a mcdonald's milkshake but afterwards it felt like i had eaten like three burgers instead of just one so I'm just not gonna get a milkshake in the future. It makes no sense to get. Very unhealthy too. It's just kind of silly. Um, and so, yeah. Um, uh, the reason why we went to Five Guy. Oh yeah, and for dinner we're probably not gonna have anything because it was so much food. Uh, you know, the reason why we went to Five Guys was because I went to the Red Wing store and one more and got these boots. Look at how big they are. They're like as big as my, as, as my head. Um, yeah, they're really nice Red Wing boots. Um, they got, they got Gore-Tex on them. Uh, so they're waterproof. They're steel-toed. That's like, you know, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not punching through steel. Um, they're, uh, slip and dust resistant. You can kind of see they're like kind of clear on the bottom. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see on the heel there. It's like dust resistant and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's the first um, pair of boots I really owned, and I, you know, the cool thing is, is that no other pair of boots, I, you know, I got, I got the best boots at the Red Wing store, and, um, you know, Red Wing is, from what I've heard, one of the best boot brands, and I've got some of the best boots from some of the best boot brands, and so, all boots I have will be worse. They're also Canadian CSA compliant, uh, so if I'm ever in Canada, and I'm on a work site, and I need to do work, it's illegal. Um, and it's only on one of the boots, which is strange. <laughs> Maybe this boot is CSA compatible, but this one isn't. Um, yeah, so, um, that's pretty cool. Uh, they're really heavy. Um, something cool about the Red Wing store is they, um, you actually stand on something and it, like, does some magic. It has some glowing lights on it. And then the guy at the store reads on an iPad what your shoe size is. And, uh, it turns out I'm 11.4 on one foot. I forgot which ones, but I'm like 11.4 on one foot, 11.7 on another foot, um, and on my left foot, I'm just 1E wide, but on my right foot, I'm 3E wide, um, and apparently it's very common to have different foot sizes, um, on each foot, but it's, it's just very interesting, um, so, yeah, I found out that's what my shoe size was, so I think that's, I think that's like triple E wide, in, like, shoes, um, and it makes sense considering when I wear my, uh, my Jordans back there, yeah, when I wear my Jordans back there, um, <laughs> you can see, like, it goes, like, pow, like, it, it, like, it, like, bunches out, like, it, it pokes out on the side, and that's, like, my foot, um, and that's crazy to me, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, I'm really happy I've got some cool boots, and, yeah, all right, I hope everybody has a good day, oh, and then I got home, and I exercised quite a bit, um, I really, Whenever I exercise on the treadmill, I like to run a little bit and I like to walk a little bit. But the problem is, is that if I were to just do one exercise out, like indoor walk or out or indoor walk or indoor run, uh, you know, let's say I choose indoor run on my watch, you know, and I'm running for like three miles and then I walk for the last mile. I'm lying for that last quarter of a mile. You know, I'm not, I'm not doing an indoor run. I'm doing an indoor walk. Um, so uh, I just decided to do two workouts today um, that were consecutively next to each other. Um, I did an indoor run for four miles where I burned 591 calories. And, um, then after that I did a indoor walk for three miles and I burned 429 calories. Um, and yeah, that was pretty good. Um, yeah. 
nothing, you know, I, it's because I had to close my move ring. I wasn't going to, and I'm on like a 27 day streak, which is crazy. Um, and so, you know, I need to. If you want an explanation of what a move ring is, like a five second explanation, watch my last video, even though I could have just explained what a move ring is in the time in which I told you to watch my last video, but you know. Uh, yeah. Oh, also I got, I got leather cream for my boots. Um, apparently once a month, you're supposed to put this cream on your boots and it like keeps them good. Um, cause like leather, you know, leather is like our skin and we need to put stuff on our skin to keep it good. So we need to put stuff on the leather to keep it good. Um, but, um, yeah, I also, they plan to buy, I, I, I plan to buy some like, uh, m like, like fitted, uh, insoles. Um, but they ended up not being in stock. So I'm going to get them in a couple weeks. Uh, until then I'm going to keep um, wearing, you know, the boots every now and then, but, uh, for now, you know, I'm not, you know, yeah. All right. Okay. I hope everybody has a good day. Um, and yeah, see you, dude.